Well, hello everybody and welcome to our online program on addiction and recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And the topic this time, uh, I'm going to bring up uh, three popular books on addiction. And it's kind of interesting because all three of them are very different. They, they have a different idea of what an addiction is and a different way of how to treat it. And this is uh, important, I think, for everyone to understand, is let you in on a little secret. In the addiction field, there's any number of theories about what an addiction is, how to prevent it, and how to treat it. I personally know about 40 of them. And most of them are conflicting. And the interesting thing in the addiction field is that no one seems to pay any attention to anyone else in the field. So... If I have a favorite theory, uh, I'm simply going to present it and I'll basically avoid talking about anything that disagrees with me. So it's uh, one of the things that drives me up the wall, but it is just, uh, it's just one of those situations in the addiction field is that really uh, we've got all these people sitting around this table talking about addiction, but everybody is uh, plain solitaire. No one's talking to each other. So anyway, we'll look at three popular books. And uh, I've chosen them specifically because there is actually a great deal of uh, scientific research to back them up, even though they're popular. And the first book uh, will be David Sheff's uh, uh, book on clean, which provides us uh, with the argument that addiction is a brain disease. And the second book is Carl Hart's work, uh, High Price on, and Carl Hart is a, a neuroscientist at a big university in the US. And he says addiction is a choice. And the third one is uh, the current most uh, popular uh, work, uh, Johan Harry's Chasing the Screen, uh, which actually argues that addiction is a result of how society perceives it. So. David Sheff's work. So David Sheff is a journalist, very famous journalist, very good journalist. And his son, Nick, uh, uh, became a crystal meth addict and got into heroin as well. And David Sheff didn't really understand what was going on. And one of the things he did to educate himself is uh, at the University of California, he met uh, a lot of scientists there who, would, who helped him understand the addiction. And they showed him a bunch of images of the brain and showed them that, oh, if you take this drug, a stimulant drug, and you can see how the brain of, of this drug user is different than uh, the brain of uh, someone who's not a drug user. And so there's, and the drug user has changes in its function and its structure. And so uh, this is the, the real re uh, reason for addiction. So his son, Nick, even a very bright fellow, by all accounts, incredibly competent. So he gets trapped by, the addic by this drug and then the drug uh, basically hijacks the brain. And this is the reason why Nick just continues on, even though he's uh, uh, quite a remarkable young man. So for David Sheff, uh, this was an important uh, uh, idea for him to come to terms with. And, and he talks about how it helped him work through things and helped him actually develop some compassion for his son. And my guess is maybe ease a bit of guilt, which uh, many parents have. So David Sheff... Uh, pre brings up uh, what we might call the most popular version of addiction, that it's a brain disease over which the person is powerless to control the drugs. And even in his interviews, uh, David Sheff talks about drugs are evil, things like that. Anyway, that's the first one uh, on our uh, series here. And next time we'll be back with our uh, second book, popular book on addiction.